Hey, what's happening everyone? Pragmatic Addict here, so a trailer dropped today of a horror film that I have heard about. Now when I say heard about, I literally just mean in the sense of like, I've heard that it exists, I've heard it's called stop motion, and I've read the plot like once and I don't remember, but I know it's a horror film. Not as solely just because like, throughout the coming months, usually like a month or so in advance, I try and like make a schedule and look at each week of movies that are coming out and make schedules for which movies I'm gonna see with like, you know, for certain weeks. And this movie comes out on February 23rd, and the only other one I see that's like, you know, has like a better chance of me seeing it's it's between this one and drive away dolls now i've seen the trailer for drive away dolls i don't know man i don't need to see it but it's that thing where it's like if there's nothing else fine but obviously a movie called stop motion with it being a horror film between just this one and drive away dolls i'm like that one's piquing my interest just <laughs> what the fuck was that uh, but i'm like that one's just piquing my interest that much more and now we have gotten a full trailer so we're definitely gonna check this out but first i do want to read the plot just so i have enough knowledge going into it here we go synopsis ella blake is a stop motion animator who is struggling to control her demons after the loss of her overbearing mother suddenly alone in the world she embarks upon the creation of a macabre new puppet film which soon becomes the battleground for her sanity let me read that again. Ella Blake is a stop-motion animator who is struggling to control her demons after the loss of her overbearing mother. Okay. Suddenly alone in the world, she embarks upon the creation of a macabre new puppet film, which soon becomes the battleground for her sanity. Okay, yeah, let's just check this out. I'm not even gonna, like, talk about what I think that plot means. Let's just... Let's just watch this trailer. Violent, disturbing content, gore, some language, sexual material, and brief drug material. Okay. <clears throat> Such a morbid imagination. What's going on Bring here? Dead things. Oh. To life. It's like the trilogy of terror thing. So it's real life, it's like live action with stop motion horror when you think you're aspects. I don't know. So it says that she's working on this, which basically becomes a battleground of her sanity. So she basically becomes obsessed with this and it has a bunch of like... What do you think? A it's a bunch bit of, boring. you know, consequences it's come from it. I mean, it's not boring. Make a new one. A new one. Yeah, I know better story. You want to hear it? There's a girl. She's scared. There's someone coming. Who's coming? The man no one wants to meet. <clears throat> the Ashman. You bring it to life. What I like is how mysterious it is. I'm not really sure how the movie's gonna play out or like what it's really gonna do as far as how it's gonna be presented to the audience. But from what I'm seeing, I'm not gonna say that it's really giving me a whole lot, but I'm respecting what I'm seeing for the most part. It's not real. I like how they're bringing in the horror elements and the stop motion horror. I don't wanna make this film anymore. It seems odd as far as it like merging together as like one world. I don't know. I want to go. I want to go. See like this. I don't know if this is like cutting back in between like the stop motion horror film that she's making and just reality or I mean, it looks different for sure. It looks pretty original. It looks like something I don't see too often. So I, I mean, yeah, I don't see why not. Again, this is like a matter of like, well, it's either this one that sounds more interesting, more up my alley. I will probably be checking this out. It looked, again, like, it looks confusing. I don't know, again, entirely like how it's being presented. I don't know if it's like transitioning in and out of this like movie she's making in like real life or if like, you know, this is fucking with her sanity like it said it was and like, if this is becoming reality, I don't know. That seemed like a little, uh, a little bit vague. It seemed like it was just teasing how things are going to be looking as far as, like, the real-life aspect and with it being a horror movie and stop-motion. So, I mean, we'll just have to see how that, you know, 
how both those worlds merge together. But yes, guys, that has been our official trailer for uh, Stop Motion. How do you guys think this movie's gonna be? What do you guys think, like, how do you guys think this is gonna play out? How do you guys think it's gonna land? Let me know, guys, but thanks for watching as always, guys, and I'll see you very soon, actually. Tomorrow we have the first trailer dropping for the upcoming horror film with Sydney, with, uh, Sydney Sweeney, Immaculate from Neon, and we've also got the release of Miller's Girl, which... I don't know if this is the same thing for like everywhere, but it's only playing in one theater here in my city with like two showings at night. So I'm just like, I know it's controversial, but I mean, I'm checking it out. So I will definitely be seeing you guys for the for that trailer and for that review. But with all that being said, guys, I hope you're having a safe night. Thank you guys as always for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care.